All right, so that's what I see. So what's going on in the greater cryptocurrency space? Well, uh, this was a story from Daily Hodl, strategist who called Bitcoin's biggest crash, says he just exited crypto market. And this is all about Peter Brandt. I know if you are an XRP holder, you hate this guy because he always trashes XRP. And um, I mean, look, he's been around for quite some time. He knows what he's doing. He's an excellent trader and I won't take that away from him. However, once he... Once we learn what he says, I'm going to uh, rebuke some of the things he talks about, and I'll explain it a bit. Anyhow, Peter Brandt of the global trading firm Factor LLC says he is selling most of his portfolio in stocks, the foreign exchange market, and Bitcoin to move into the U.S. dollar. And this was a question that he, he got from in Twitter from Crypto J, who was just asking about like what he really does. And Peter's like, I don't understand, but I'm just going to tell you this. Personally, I exited, exited almost all of my portfolio in the last two days. Stocks, Forex, Bitcoin. So in a process, moved assets back into home currency, USD. And the reason is he thinks the U.S. market bubble is in, is in its final stage right before its pops. He states, this is what I believe about the U.S. market. Fight the Fed at your own doom. Getting bearish too early can wipe you out. Market and final blow off the 12-year bull market. Bubbles can expand further than anyone expects possible, then burst tragically. Great profits in final push. And that's what a lot of the different analysts have talked about lately about how this whole bull run is going to end and everything's going to collapse in a tragic fashion. But there's one thing about Peter Brandt that people have to remember is that he will always change his position depending on the information that he gets. And he freely admits that. So tomorrow, some piece of data could come out that could totally reverse his whole decision. And he's done that for other different times. I remember in March where he pretty much said that Bitcoin was going to go to almost a zero. And he's always said Bitcoin's going to go to 100,000 or almost a zero. And I asked him, I, I sent him a tweet, I go, and this was you know back in March, and, he, and he's like, yeah, I think it's going to go the other way. I think it's going to go very far. And when I hear these things, and when you hear these articles, you think to yourself, oh, this guy is totally getting out. He's never going to come back. And that's his position. So I need to make it very crystal clear. Peter is a trader, a very good trader. And what he's going to do is listen to all the information, look at all the data, all the analytics, and he's going to make a decision. Could this totally 180 tomorrow? Probably not. But uh, could it happen in the next week, two weeks, three weeks? Yeah, definitely could. And uh, like I said, Peter is the guy who will totally tell you, what do you do when you get new information? You change your position. So when I see these types of articles, I'm not really that concerned. It is sensationalism and it is fantastic. And it kind of leads us in, into you know a little bit more of a cautious state. But you have to understand, just take it with a grain of salt. Are you a trader or are you an investor like we just talked about in Q of the day? That is the big thing. Where do you think this market is going? Honestly, if you think it's going to go to the moon, just hang around things will change. And if you're talking about traders, like this is another article that I, I pulled up from Market Watch, and the same type of thing, they're saying, you know what, uh, it's going to get bad, but just ride these two uh, winners and you should be okay. And this is from uh, Jeffrey Haley, the senior market analyst at uh, Oanda, uh, Asia Pacific. And he says investors should just focus on Apple and Microsoft. For Apple, all the services, service business has been a rock of Gibraltar for CEO Tim Tim Cook. Now the drum roll shifts to a massive pen at demand for smartphone upgrades. Heading into its iPhone 12 5G super cycle, slightest cycle off. And he just talks about how great things are. I, I don't want to bore you. But so it it all depends on the different analysts that you listen to and what's going to happen. Do I think that things are going to uh, turn rocky? Absolutely. We talked about this yesterday as one of the indicators, uh, trillion dollars in housing bonds bought up by the Fed. And not only that, but the Fed is the biggest buyer of securities right now. So they hold everything and they're just printing money and it doesn't really matter. So we'll well, it does matter, let's be honest. So we will see how it all plays out. But uh, again, do I think things will get rocky? Yes. Do I think that cryptocurrencies and digital assets are here to stay? Absolutely. Do I think they will swallow up everything? You betcha. But uh, sometimes you got to go through a little, little bit of pain to get to the pleasure.